Guys, hello and welcome to the Labyrinth TV Network. Today is October 10, 2024. And at this hour, we are right in Central Morocco to showcase you some places in, most, uh, in Central Morocco and also bring you some major happenings as to what is unfolding in Liberia and the globe. So at this hour, you can like, comment and share on our Facebook and YouTube channel. I'm Princess KD Koba coming to your life. I keep posted as we bring you the daily routine of breaking news. So, uh, yesterday we posted some information in regards to Minister Amin Muda, a uh, corruption saga. And then uh, immediately that information was posted. Uh, a few hours later, yesterday, a number Amin Muda finally resigned. We got, you know, these are reasons why we definitely, you know, enlighten you about some major happenings in the country so you can actually be on top of your information as to what is happening in the country. Despite uh, many of you people are not there, but this is what we intend to do. So finally, uh, Honorable Amin Muda has resigned as Commerce Minister and made uh, a huge criticism uh, in regards to uh, at least. 90,000 uh, corruption saga. So, and President Baka has been cleared that he is actually going to fight corruption no matter what comes what may. So, many citizens have been uh, raising concern that if President Baka can actually deal with his own uh, friend, his own ally, very close and someone who is highly respected in the United Party, who serves as former chairperson for the United Party, can actually be involved into such. And President Boakai can actually stand firm. Definitely that means that President Boakai, uh, President Boakai is here to do some, some you know, serious activities according to you know, critics. Uh, but however, uh, this is Liberia. We are waiting and hopeful. According to information we are also received, uh, is some government official from the state-owned enterprise, which is the SOE, uh, went to visit President Borkai, but uh, the president refused to see them, and they themselves were actually caught into such. So immediately after we shall have concluded with our information, we will definitely let you know in regards to those names, uh, those state kings that actually went to visit President Borkai, but they were in actually giving access to see him. So this is what President Baka is saying, yes, he's going to do. And all eyes are open. And uh, also, Honorable Muka, uh, Kekula Muka, is, will be providing his second uh, quarter of District Number 14 report as to so what he has done or what he has been doing over the past months since he came to uh, the position as representative in District 14. So we are also hoping to get in some information in regards to that so we can enlighten the public as to what is actually moving on. And Solomon George, uh, Solomon George, who, who is one of the key uh, figures in the CDC, a uh, former representative for District Number 7, who was actually defeated by a mile down, uh, he said that President Bokai, from all indication, gonna lose election 2029, and he is seeing President Weir surfacing in 2029. He also said that one of those reasons that led to President uh, Weir defeat is that the issue of accountability uh, to actually stand firm on certain issue, uh, to actually prosecute or to you know provide some of the rules and guidelines President Weir was so friendly to, an ex to the extent that he forgot to actually prosecute few of his comrades so this is what coming from uh, his number Solomon judge so let wait and see as to what will be the next action from uh, the lawmaker in regards to his statement so uh, the Liberia Immigration Office, uh, Liberia Immigration uh, Institution, 
of recent plays out a notification for the recruitment of officers. And during that process, you actually held like thousands plus Liberian actually applying to form part of the immigration you know, service. But then after the whole process, in fact, during the process, one person actually lost their life uh, while they were actually, you know, carrying on exercise. And that time, And in that time, uh, immigration, the immigration department actually, I regretted, said that, and then told the parents that, oh yes, in the day I respond. So they, the government did what they could do. So finally, uh, the final result of the final lesson of the immigration uh, institution has uh, has come out, and then 500 individuals were the ones that actually got qualified right, they, their test was done for both medic and other things were actually done so after the whole process many of them uh, were dropped many of them dropped out they, they didn't actually reach the benchmark for say you know uh, stuff but how be it we are hopeful we are going to the Ministry of Information Culture and Tourism to actually bring it details information in regards to that. So criminal could see uh, George Honorable Lama Dixon said that he has declined hearing on the case involving Honorable Samet Twe. Uh, that but then we don't really know what led to that but then he said the case is not actually meant now according to information is meant to actually start next uh, next school hearing so we are waiting and we are hopeful to actually get in details information every guys so 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 immediately the immediately they start the the court process we will let you know as to what is definitely unfolding So this one says that Brokai, President Brokai says that yesterday he is committed to fighting corruption no matter what comes, what may, no matter who is involved, no matter, uh, no matter the caliber of individual that is actually associated with corruption, he will definitely do what he's supposed to do. And then also information reaching our decks this afternoon says that uh, all of the old leadership at the Liberal Drugs Enforcement Agency will definitely be kicked out. The president is anticipating of, you know, appointing new uh, officials to actually steer the FTS of the Liberal Drugs Enforcement Agency. But before that, uh, during the course of the way, uh, many have been raising concern in regards to that as to why the president is waiting why up to date uh, the president still have you know, the president still has uh, officer in charge things have not been done in the court and so many things have not been done the president needs to step up the president needs to do xyz and so many things the president needs to do but then we are hoping to actually see that appointment and then we will move forward so if you are watching it from any part of the world we want to say uh, welcome to the Liberian TV Network. I'm Francis KDK for coming to your life. And just to let you know, uh, November 13th is my graduation from the African Methodist Episcopal University, EMAU. So I'm hoping and praying that uh, all of my followers, everyone can actually take part in that graduation process. And on Saturday, uh, Saturday we will be going live uh, in regards to the graduation process to provide you synopsis and to tell you exactly what uh, will be in, well, what will entails for the graduation. So we'll provide you further details information in regards to the graduation. Uh, time to actually join online. And this one said the civil society organization of Liberia has urged President Bokai to dismiss uh, corrupt government officials or individuals who are involved into corruption act. 
So we are calling on the president to definitely do that. Not wait and see if the president will definitely hear to their call. And yesterday, uh, there was this information regarding um, uh, So there was the information regarding a Liberian pastor called Mr. Elijah Daju, uh, who worked for the United Methodist you know, Church. And he's a pastor. And according to him, he said that uh, he has been against the issue about this gay uh, issue in the church, and he has been speaking out. But then uh, some heretics within the church want to actually adhere to that. So due to the across, you know, criticism regarding this gay issue which he said it is not meant for our society and it is not also meant for the church uh, he has been suspended and he was told not to come around uh, any of the premises of the United Methodist Church so yesterday he went to see how best he can teach but then before, uh, while he was trying to make his way in the security stopped in and told him that don't enter and that actually brought serious serious confrontation and the security said, what have been mandated that you should not come around either of the premises regarding uh, relating to the United Methodist Church. So he further said that he don't regret his action. Uh, he will stand by it, uh, speaking against or speaking out on the issue of gay, which is not actually uh, good for the church, will, let, will lead him to actually lose his job. He is willing and he can do anything to actually stand I uh, firm and a raven in Bombing County called Raven County has sued. Uh, he said he, he was going to actually sue traditional leaders uh, who have been forcing uh, children to actually join the poor in the Sunday society. And in, in return, the traditional leaders are threatening to move on him with, uh, you know the traditional max and he said that it is not necessary because we are living in the modern world no one can threaten him or no one can do anything to him in regards to that but then this too is like brought up with and see as to how the outcome would be like as well so guys uh if you are following from any part of the world, i want to say thank you for following library tv network i'm princess kd Kapoor. you can like comment and share on our facebook and youtube channel thank you